In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how Logan Forsythe, the king of short form, of creates tens, if not hundreds of millions his of jobs own editing years, style that he generates over a billion work. views guaranteed to his clients. And my name is Editing Torsten. I've helped over 1,700 plus creators. I sell digital assets online for intentionally short form content creators just like you to get high retention and results like him. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. I have his video right over here and this is what we are going to be creating. So there's a lot of text, a lot of flickering. I have B-roll with kind of like a VHS. I like that. He's got a black and white B-roll with this kind of crop effect and we'll get into that really soon. It's really easy guys. Oh, this is gonna be so easy to make. So let's just grab all the text. We're going to go up to text and if you don't have the text panel, just go up to the window and scroll down and hit this text. Hit this transcribe, you're gonna to need to transcribe it. Mine's already automated, so just hit create cap captions from transcript, hit this little drop route, make sure that the minimum duration in seconds is down and this is at 10 seconds or 10, 10 characters. <laughs> hit single lines because if we do double, it's gonna go on top of each other and no one likes that at all, it just looks bad. And boom, now we have all of our captions perfectly laid out for us. You can see they're on the bottom. Now what we wanna do is highlight all of them Go over to your effects graphics tab. If you don't have that, hit windows, go all the way to effects graphics. And let's put this in the center, put it right under his chin where his is. So it has to go down a little bit by grabbing the right one and just pulling it down a little bit. Let's increase the size. It's not too big, so about probably 106. I'd say that's pretty good. I'm gonna use my font I always use. It's kind of like his, it's this one, this monastery. But you can use any font. Pretty sure he uses a font exactly like this or it. Hit black, see it kind of is like it. It's nice and close together. If you want to make it even closer, we could go over to this VA and smish it, but I think it looks fine. He has a little bit of a drop shadow. So let's just go down this drop shadow and let's mess around with the settings. So his is very kind of subtle, but blurred out. So I'm gonna put around, let's do 16, this like square thing. The bottom one, just crank it. I think that's pretty good. And let's decrease the opacity. That looks about the same as his. Awesome. Now we have the captions down. Let's forward on to the flicker effects and how he stacks on top of each other to get the eye catching text and everything that you guys have seen recently. So highlight all of them. Go to your graphics and titles. I'm gonna upgrade these captions. This will let all these captions go into graphics so you can manually edit them like a PNG or whatever you guys use. It's really easy when you have a bunch of just effects that you wanna use, but you can't obviously put effects on captions. So you make them into graphics. I'm going to grab these and put them down so I can see them with my Oh, grab them, pull them down here. To protect yourself with the flicker and the top, it looks like the two comes in. It slides It slides in like that, same with the protect and yourself. That's awesome, I already have a preset that we're, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it and then I'm going to just use mine so then it's a lot easier and simple and faster. So we got that two, it looks like he blows it up a little bit. Let's just blow this up and let's stack this up and bring this up too so they all line up, grab all of these and stretch them so they last and stay on the screen long. And what we wanna do for the two, simply search up transform, transform, grab it, put it on your layer. We're gonna go over to the effects tab, effects controls. Now unclick, use composition, shutter angle, crank it all the way up so we get a nice motion blur with it when it comes up. And all you basically want to do is hit your opacity. So give the opacity stopwatch and also the position. So let's go a few frames forward. I'm gonna go like right here, add these and I'm gonna position this upwards just a little bit. 
and then the left, so the first keyframe is gonna pass it, just like that. So now you can see it's kind of rough. Let's highlight them all, right click, go to temporal importation and hit easy in. Hit this little carrot on the position and let's make this a lot smoother. Looks like it comes in a little too fast, so I'm just gonna grab this and bring it outwards. And same with the opacity, nice. Now I want it to really like, kind of bounce like his does. Grab the right one and just crank it all the way to the left. This is gonna have the velocity come in really fast like this. Ooh yeah, awesome. Now we have the two, now let's make the protect red by going to your essential graphics, hitting protect, hit this fill, and let's just grab the F by going like that, nice. He has it bigger, I'm gonna put it like right here, right in the middle, hit a line to line it in the middle. Let's bring this two down actually because it's a little too above and bring this protect down too. And it looks like his protect doesn't have a drop shadow for some reason, I don't know why he got rid of it. For the flicker effect on the protect word, go to your effects tab, make sure you're on protect, hit opacity, and let's start with the first one by hitting the keyframe on opacity. All you wanna do is go two frames forward, hit that again, another two frames, hit it again, two more frames, hit it again, and one more time, boom. So now for the first one, just leave it, put the second one zero, leave this third one zero, last one like that. So it kinda has that flicker effect. And let's grab this right one, easy in, and drag it out just a little bit, like that. This yourself goes on the bottom. Let's just align it to the bottom, increase the size of it more down, and I'm gonna use, like I said, my slide up, so I don't have to constantly using that. If you guys want these, there's like 60 plus of them that I have, it's in the link in the description. Use the code ProTech to get $5 off. And let's just, nice. Now I'm just gonna reposition this and we get something like his. I actually like mine more. <laughs> okay, now he has from the threat, do the same thing, kind of like move, maneuver these so they're all above each other. Let's put this from to the left and down a little bit and this the, put it downwards and aligned with that one. I'm gonna grab all these and stack them above each other. For all of the captions and stuff, oops, just drag them and make sure that they all meet the last one. So then all of them stay on the screen, like I said earlier, and they don't just disappear randomly. Okay, so now let's stack it like he has it. From the, so I have the, and then this threat, needs to be red again, so just go over to your effects graphics, hit a fill, put it on red, bring this down, Oop. increase the size like that, I love that. Let's get rid of the shadow, put this of, Oop. put the of to the bottom left, like he has it, like really low, right here. Same with AI, make sure that it's big and it's red with no drop shadow. And use that exact same flicker effect. I'm just gonna search up mine. I have personally made two of them, but for this one, I'm just gonna use this three. And I'm also gonna put it on the threat. So we get an animation. Awesome. Now we have that, and it looks like all of them also come in again, like his, so again, I'm just gonna grab mine or use the one I taught you really quick. All I gotta do is search up text. I'm gonna go to my text animations, and I'm gonna grab this third, put it on that one. I'm actually gonna highlight them, the rest of these and put it on there. Like that, that looks really good. 
Now he has this kind of like cropped VHS effect. His go down in the link in the description, there's gonna be a free pack that you guys can get this exact same crop effect that you see in all these other videos. Try and provide as much value as possible. So there you go, there's that and some other sample and viral effects that you can see. I'm gonna show you right now. You get these, all of these effects right here that I've given you. So you can kind of get a gist of my presets and just saving time in general. If you really want to get like a, just a nice clean type style that works, this is definitely a level up for your videos. So let's go grab that overall or overlay I've given you. I'm going to go in my safe zone and it's this one right here, this V2. It'll probably be named something else. All I'm going to do is put it on here. Obviously you can't see it. I'm going to grab my B-roll. Grab my walking B-roll. 62 so just resize it and I have this now let's put these below okay so let's get this VHS first I'm just gonna search up my VHS effect but if you guys want it to let's just drag this on and let's look at it drag it on to your b-roll Nice, now you can see we have that blind effect. It's gonna be, the, it's called V-intation blinds or whatever it's called. Just copy my settings and let's bring these below the captions so we can see them. There, now we have a nice, just the blinds with that. And to make this just black and white, just go over to your lumen entry, turn the saturation all the way down. Same with the other B-roll and you get something just like his. Awesome, now we have that. But he kind of lacks in this type of like the realm. You can see that on his, nothing really happens. So what I would like to do is just go through some of these and use that viral text effect I've given you guys that you see all over the place. And also just make these texts just like pop more. So just go over to that pack I've given you, sample free viral text effect and Oh, I actually have given you my flicker. Look at that. And I'm just gonna grab the text sample. That's pretty cool. It has that nice little like text effect. And let's increase the size of these, this, like that. And let's make this million, let's make the million like really big. Also make it green makes the jobs just smaller and the years let's make it big so we get something now like this it's just more engaging your eyes will just pop more awesome we're almost done and like he did in the other ones let's just use that flicker effect and that text reveal and we are done with this and it's super simple like I just showed you guys let me just I'll just do this part Just align all of these like I'm doing right now. Make them bigger, more bolder. And I kind of want it to be like that. Have it red, a personal brand, and both are red. So just highlight both of them and go to the red. Have personal needs to be just downward. So I'm just gonna click on it. Oh my God. Where is the personal brand? Just like that. So let me just show you really quick how fast and easy it is to use my pack. Let's go over to my text effect. I want to have only the red letters like that. So I just drag on my personal just like that. And let's, let's nest these so I can just move them all at once. Nest it really quick. Effects control like that. Awesome, now we have that. And let's just add that flicker effect like you guys have by highlighting them all. Viral, grab the flicker effect. Subtle 3D flicker effect or the one I taught you. And once you apply them all, you get something like this. And if you guys wanna learn how to edit like Rob the Bank, click this video right over here.